with Diane Sawyer. Good evening to all of you on this Monday, and we begin with breaking news tonight from the Air Force. A top officer assigned to prevent sexual assault has been arrested and charged with sexual battery. We know there's long been a complaint that the military does not take sexual assault seriously, and we also know those numbers. In just one year, an estimated 19,000 cases. Well, tonight, the case of a key Air Force official is under investigation, but reaction, including outrage, is already pouring in. ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, has the latest. The arrest comes amid growing concern about the top ranks in the military and the Air Force failing to do enough to prevent thousands of alleged rapes and sexual abuse cases over the last few years. This is Lieutenant Colonel Jeff Krasinski from NATO. The Air Force officer arrested this weekend on sexual battery charges. Lieutenant Colonel Jeff Krasinski actually runs the Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Office of the Air Force. An Arlington County, Virginia police report identified Krasinski as a drunken male subject who approached a female victim in a parking lot near the Pentagon after midnight Saturday night and grabbed her breasts and buttocks. According to the Department of Veterans Affairs, some 30% of women in the military have been raped or sexually assaulted while serving their country. Some talked about it in the Oscar-nominated documentary, The Invisible War. Everything changed. The the day that I was raped. He hit me in the head and knocked me out. And just last week, the Air Force said it had disciplined five former commanders at a San Antonio base for failing to take appropriate action in what was then termed the military branch's worst sex scandal. How can we possibly stop the amount of sexual assault and rape in the military if the person in charge of enforcing these policies commits the same crime? Lieutenant Colonel Krasinski has been released on $5,000 bond and will be arraigned on the charges this Thursday. Tonight, the Air Force says Krasinski has been relieved of his position as the leader of the Sexual Assault Prevention Program. But Diane. exactly what happens next? Where is he arraigned and what court? He'll be arraigned in civilian court, not military court. And advocates say that's often the problem in these cases, that victims don't get justice in the military court because so many cases involve superior officers who don't face serious consequences. Well, again, breaking news and the story's just beginning. Thank you, Brian Ross.